Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at calculating the equation of a line using our TI Inspire CAS calculator. If you recall, the equation of a line typically is y equals a plus bx, where a equals the y-intercept, in other words we're across the y-axis, and b is the slope, in other words the gradient of that line there that red line. So we're going to look to calculate the equation of this graph here, or this line, using our CAS calculator. So the first thing I need are two points. Typically I'll pick points that are at extremes, in other words one end of the line to the other. So one, one end up here, the other end up here, and I also like to pick known values. So I would look here in preference to there because I don't know the exact y-intercept. So this value here of this point would be my time value is 1 and my dollar value is 25,000. Likewise I don't exactly know the x-intercept so I'll work my way backwards and I'll find this point here. So there we go. My time value is 9 and my dollar value is 5,000. Now what I do now is I plug those two values into my CAS calculator. So I'll put those two coordinates into my CAS calculator. This is just the basic, I suppose the, the login or the start screen. I'll create a spreadsheet. I'll label my axis, my axis yes, time and value. And we know after one year, the dollar value was 25,000. After nine years, the dollar value was 5,000. And now what I'm going to do is just create a graph of that. So, up, and this is the one here that I want. And now I need to label the axis. On the x-axis, that was my time. On my y-axis was my dollar value. And that there are the two points that I had on the graph. All I need to do now is to do my line of best fit. So, just from your menu, it's four for analyze, six for regression, and 2 for a plus bx. And you'll see here, it's done my line of best fit, which has to go through those two points. And it's given me the equation here. y equals, there's my a value, 27,500 minus 2,500x. So, just tuck that away there. So, back to the screen here. That is the equation there. Y equals 27,500 minus 2,500x, 2,500x. Now, we are almost finished. The only thing we need to realize is we're not dealing with x's and y's as our calculator would have given us the answer. We need to translate those to dollar values and time. So, my value is equal to 27,500 minus 2,500 time multiplied by the time. So that is the equation of the line. So I can now, using that equation, calculate the value of whatever item I'm looking at by just plugging the value of time into that formula. Or likewise, I could calculate how long it would take for an item to depreciate to a certain value. So, till next time, please enjoy yourself and keep thinking about maths.